Hi, welcome back to Street Kills uh, Video Chronicles. LS1 head identification. Something I forgot real quick, guys. The cast on the LS3 is 0821. The cast on the L92 is 0823, I do believe. I don't quite remember that one. I don't use them. Um, okay, guys, let's jump into this real quick. Let me give you the, the, ident the identifying factors between an SPM cast and a sand cast cylinder head. SPM cast always have the triangles, okay? 243, uh, the 7 series 4.8 uh, head, even the LS3 heads, they all have the triangle cast into them. That's your first identification that it's an SPM cast head. Your second identification is how smooth the wall is, okay? I ported these heads so you're not going to be able to see in there. But you see how smooth it is? It's really smooth, okay? The ports are just the same. Now let's move over to uh, LS1, early gen. Okay, there we go. This is a center bolt valve cover. The perimeter bolts have the bolts on the outside, okay? If you look, the sand cast is a lot rougher, okay? They do not have identifying marks. They're just an 8 series cylinder head, 853. You can look right here on Chevy cylinder heads and see exactly the casting and what you have, guys. These ones are down here. 0821, LS3 cylinder heads, okay? Now, when getting your cylinder heads ported, guys, you gotta be careful who you, who you send them to if you're not getting a CNC port. A lot of times, hand porters will charge you a lot less. You ask your hand porter for some pictures of the work that he's done, and then you ask him, what, what, what did he do his basis off of? You know, if he says, oh, I watched a bunch of YouTube videos, then don't, don't send it to him, okay? Make sure that he has at least something like this that he can show you, where he can say, hey, I know how much to take off. I know where these suckers go bad. I know, you know, look at that. Okay, you'll see a lot of videos out there that talk about the swirl ramp, messing with the swirl ramp, okay? Guys, if you don't notice where that's at, that's right in the swirl ramp where these people are telling you to take it off, okay? Be really careful, because typically if you don't pop through it, your millimeters, your, your under millimeters, your paper thin right there, you overheat your car once, and guess what? You pop a hole right there, you fill, you know, you fill your cylinder up with water, vapor lock, then valves, all kinds of bad stuff happen, guys. So just... If, if, you, if you do anything, take pieces of my, my videos on porting and, you know, mix everybody's up and see, you know, see what, what works best for you. But don't just mess with the swirl ramp because you want to gain that extra freaking three horsepower and lose all that torque, honestly, but we'll, we'll go there later. Don't do it because some dude did it on YouTube, okay? I don't want to, I, you know, heads are expensive, guys. Don't do it. So anyways... This is a 241 SPM cast cylinder head. Obviously, the triangles, which are exactly identical to those triangles. Okay? I mean, even to the ridge. Same, same exterior cast. Okay, on the 241 heads, what I'm going to show you right now, I'm going to reassemble this bad boy. Tell me you guys didn't think that was cool when I pulled it apart. I thought it was cool. Okay, on this head, this is an LS1 head out of like a 2000 Camaro or a Firebird WS6 2001. This is the, the original, you know, this is 98, 99, okay? Here's the trick, guys. People will be like, oh, they'll call me up, they'll be like, oh, Mike, I put my heads on and they leak. Well, there's a reason why they leak. These take a graphite gasket, these take an MLS gasket. Multi-layer steel, graphite, okay? Boom, there's your leak. A lot of people don't know this notch is right here on the early LS heads. That's why you have to get the specific gasket for it because it has some crap right there. I don't even know what you would call it to make sure that it doesn't leak, okay? There is no portion of that here. This is an MLS head. This will take a graphite gasket as well, okay, guys? That's what you're looking for. That's why your, your early style heads leak when you put that MLS gasket on it and even some graphite gaskets that are made for these for the later model. Okay, 
Let's, we're going to take the AFR out of the picture right here. Okay. Let's spin the cylinder head around. Let's get this one. Let's see what we got here. Cha -cha -cha. Let's get this one the same way. Okay. Then I'm going to take this apart real quick just for demonstration. Let's get this one the same way. Okay. Now this head right here, this is a, this is a uh, 317 truck head. Also not SPM cast. This is sand cast. This is one that we're, we've started to pour, but I'm going to show you the difference right here. No, I'm not use this one. These are the standard ports that come on LS1 and uh, 5.3 liter truck heads. Okay, it's an oval port. It's, you know, it's not too all that impressive, but after they're ported out, this is about what you get, com you know, comparative. And the, you know, the interior guide comes away, all kinds of good stuff. This is a D port cylinder head, 243. Uh, 799 and 317 heads have D-port heads, okay? So that's also another way you can tell whether you have a truck head or a Corvette head. So what we got here, and the LS3 head kind of has a hybrid D funky falsetto O cylinder head. It has a drop base, but it starts to go D flat base, okay? That's, I don't even know what you call this. It's not really a D-port, it's more like a whatever you want to call it. Okay, here's a good identifying factor just to give you guys a, a feel of how thick, you know, how the difference in the size, okay? So we'll arrange these from biggest to smallest. Okay, these being the same. All right, just take a peek in here. Obviously these have offset rockers. So the, uh, the intake rocker, is offset but look how wide this is right there how wide that is okay that's huge from here to here this is a 210 cc that's considerable considerable amount smaller then this is an ls1 200 cc considerable amount smaller than the 317 or the 243 okay these are bigger, small, big, biggest. These are the same size as the 241. That gives you kind of a reference, a reference on your roof point of how big they are. That is a bad mama gem. So, the combustion chambers, obviously. This is 70 cc truck chamber. This is the LS3, it's more race driven. You know what I mean? This this allows for your air to come into your cylinder. It's more race driven. This kind of impedes the air a little bit than uh, the 241. Is virtually exactly the same as the early LS1. Just to show you the the development that went into the LS3 cylinder head. This right here is an AFR 220 cc mongoose head. When this head was bought at the time, it was the largest available. A lot of R&D went into the LS3 cylinder head, guys. You take, uh, you take uh, the runner. You look at the LS, the mongoose runner. Pretty nice runner. Now you look at the LS3 runner. Mind you, these are ported. LS3 is a monster. Okay. You look at the seat from from uh, AFR. It only has a two angle seat. One, two, okay, you can see the, the metal, the material. You look at the seat, uh, let me flip this over. Let me show you a good shot of the seat right here. You look at the, the LS3 seat, you notice that the metal's uh, a little bit discolored, it's a different color. You got one, two, three angles on there. This is a factory head, this is a performance uh, AFR head, guys. Like I said, now the truck heads only have uh, the two cut boss angles, okay? So that, that kind of tells you the difference between the LS3 and the L92. We're going to take a break here, then we're going to do the last segment. We're going to get into the LS3 valves and, you know, get into a little bit of valve work.